Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery, and today I'm going to go over the topic of medical certificates, particularly as it relates to the durations and the privileges. Uh, I'm just going to highlight those uh, two sets of facts um, and leave it for you to talk to your uh, medical examiner uh, for your particular situation. Um, I will say just off the top of the um, bat here that if you're under the age of 40 on the day of the examination, the, the certificate is valid for up to 60 months. However, the privileges that you get um, are reduced um, depending whether or not you're going to be exercising first or second or third class uh, privileges. If you are 40 years old or older on the day of the examination, then the the medical lasts up to 24 months, but again, there's a reduction in the privileges uh, authorized by that medical based on the class of medical that you, you started out or that you got. So we're going to go over that in the slides, uh, and if you have any questions regarding this video, feel free to leave comments or questions um, below the video in the description section. All right, let's get into it. The FAA medical certificates, as particularly as it relates to durations and privileges. So the medical certificates duration privileges falls under the uh, part 61.23 subcategory D. Um, and basically uh, what we wanna talk about first is just the medical durations and how they're based on the pilot's age at the day of the examination. So a medical certificate issued as a result of a medical exam performed on a pilot under the age of 40 years old on the day of the examination expires on the last day of the 60th month after the month of the date of the examination shown in the medical certificate. Whereas a medical certificate issued as a result of a medical exam performed on a pilot age 40 years or old or older on the day of examination expires in the last day of the 24th month after the month of the date of the examination shown in the medical certificate. Flight operation privileges are also based around a pilot's age at the day of the medical examination and the medical class issued. So depending upon the pilot's age of the, on the day of the examination, there is a specified limit to how long the pilot can exercise uh, certain privileges of first class or second class medical before the issued medical certificate reverts or downgrades to either uh, first a second class medical and then ultimately to a third class medical. So we'll get into it regarding uh, a person holding a first class medical and if they're under the uh, age of 40 years old on the day of the medical exam. In that case, then the medical is valid for 60 months and the first class ATC um, pilot in command privileges are good for only 12 months, uh, valid up to the last day of the 12th month after the month the date of the examination shown in the medical certificate. So you have 12 months if you're under 40 uh, with that first class medical to exercise the privileges of the uh, um, first class uh, medical. Um, secondly, the second class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 12th month after the month of the date of examination shown in the medical certificate. So you see here both the first and second class privileges coincide with each other. Um, again, the first 12 months, uh, it can be the first class medical can be used for both first class privileges and second class privileges. Um, second class privileges are those for conducting commercial pilot certificate operations or working as a flight engineer or air traffic control um, operator. Uh, the third class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 60th month after the month of the date of the examination shown in the medical certificate. Uh, third class privileges are for conducting operations that include a recreational pilot certificate, a private pilot certificate, a flight instructor certificate uh, when acting as pilot in command or as required pilot flight crew member in operations other than a glider or balloon, um, a student pilot certificate or a sports pilot certificate when not using a U.S. driver's license as a medical qualification. In regards to holding a first class medical and if you were 40 years old or older on the day of the medical exam, then the medical is only valid for 24 months. The first class pilot and command privileges are good for only six months, valid up to the last day of the sixth month after the month of the date of examination shown in the medical certificate. The second class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 12th month after the month of the date of examination shown in the medical certificate. And again, second class privileges for conducting operations include a commercial pilot certificate, a flight engineer certificate, or an air traffic controller tower operator certificate. The third class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 24th month after the month of the date of the examination, examination shown on the medical certificate. And again, those third class privileges are for a recreational pilot certificate, a pilot, private pilot certificate, a flight instructor certificate, a student pilot certificate, or a sport pilot certificate when not using a U.S. driver's license as medical qualification. 
For those holding a second class medical, and if you are under 40 years old on the day of the medical exam, then the medical is valid for 60 months. The second class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 12th month after the month of the date of examination shown in the medical certificate. So you got 12 months to use it as a uh, second class uh, medical. Um, that second class um, privileges uh, for that um, medical involve having uh, being able to do ATP certificate for second in command privileges, operating as a commercial pilot certificate, uh, flight engineering uh, certificate, or ATC tower operator certificate. The third class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 60th month after the month of the date of examination shown on the medical certificate. And again, you get all the same third class privileges uh, that I've already mentioned before uh, when um, using the second class as a third class um, certificate. Um, if holding a second class medical and if you were 40 years old or older on the day of the medical exam, um, then the medical is valid for only 24 months. The second class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 12th month after the month of the date of the examination shown in the medical certificate. Um, the second class privileges are for conducting operations that include ATP certificate for SIC or second in command privileges, a commercial pilot certificate, a flight engineer certificate, or an ATC tower operator um, certificate. The third class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 24th month after the month of the date of examination shown on the medical certificate. And again, you get all of the same third class privileges that I mentioned on the earlier slides. If you're holding a third class medical, and if you're under 40 years old on the day of the medical exam, um, then the third class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 60th month after the month of the date of the examination shown in the medical certificate. And again, you get all those third class privileges for the various certificate types, uh, pilot certificate types that I've mentioned earlier. If you're holding a third class medical, and if you were 40 years old or older on the day of the medical exam, then the third class privileges are valid up to the last day of the 24th month after the month of the date of examination shown on the medical certificate. And again, you get all the same access to third class privileges, uh, again, for the recreational pilot, uh, the private pilot, the flight instructor, um, or student pilot or sport pilot certificate. Uh, the last topic I want to go over is basic med. What is it and how to fly under it? Well, what is basic med? It's an alternate way for pilots to fly without holding an FAA medical certificate as long as they meet certain requirements. Well, what do you need to fly under basic med for requirements? You need to comply with the general basic med requirements that include possessing a U.S. driver's license and have held a medical after July 14, 2006. Uh, you need to get a physical exam with a state licensed physician using the comprehensive medical examination checklist provided by the FAA and you need to complete a basic med medical education course. Uh, there's a number of online courses, free online courses um, to, to satisfy that educational course requirement. Basic med in regards to the type of aircraft and operating requirements. So aircraft requirements. Uh, under basic med, you can fly any aircraft authorized under federal law uh, to carry not more than six occupants. That includes the pilot in command. Um, and that the aircraft has to have a maximum certified takeoff weight of not more than 6,000 pounds. In regards to the operating requirements, um, as a basic med pilot flying under basic med, you can carry no, not more than five passengers. So a total of six occupants, including yourself, with the five passengers. Um, you can operate under VFR or IFR conditions within the United States at or below 18,000 feet MSL, not exceeding 250 knots. And lastly, the flight cannot be operated for compensation or higher. So that's it in a nutshell regarding the medical certificate and the durations and their privileges. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments regarding this video, feel free to uh, add those questions or comments uh, below this description in this video. And I'll try to uh, respond to them as time permits.